head. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. that you're up. Navigate her through the darkness. And don't you worry, I'll take care of you. Your systems are rebooting now. But first, keep your eyes open. the mission. So let's run and take you home. First, you need to find me. Just look for it. I'm a goddess living in their water. The lady of the lake. In the... Don't trust anybody except me. took an excessive amount of time, last one. More than our protocols foresaw. I would blame that malfunctional belt of yours. Yet you seem fully operational now. Go, and start paying your debt. What? I'm not dead? I had this horrible nightmare and it felt so real. Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom of a long sleep of the Ascended. So, how can I know you're not a hallucination yourself? Who are you, anyway? I am Maltus, Patriarch of the Keepers. We will explain everything in good time. Come back later if you have questions. Now, we need you to cooperate. Cooperate? Yes. You will proceed to Tobias for training. Like, now? I mean, everything is still a little fuzzy. I would appreciate some time to... We would appreciate your immediate compliance. Without perfecting your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, you will be doomed to perpetual death, which... Hold on there. What? Perpetual death? Indeed. You bear the gift of immortality, hence... Immortality? So, I can't die? If you'd allow me to finish, you would have already known. No. You die ordinarily. Oh. Then you are born again. Such is the power of the belt you carry. We are analyzing it, and don't have validated outputs to share with you yet. What? That's all you have to say here? 
Yes. Now go and meet Tobias already. My servant will show you the way. Oh, just one more thing before you go. We shall call you Silver. Our regular naming proto- What? No, my name is- Oh, shit. I honestly have no idea. Yet we do. Silver was the only name available on your Christum. The naming protocol says it will have to suffice. I would much rather pick my name- Enough. We won't bend the principles that keep our world in order. But- Humans. Always disrespectable of the habits and cultures of others. The rat company will suit you. Hey, you rat. getting a raw deal here. Well, they're rats. Nobody's gonna cook for them. Ha ha ha. Funny. You know that's most likely why he was stealing food in the first place. Where is your sense of justice? Are you really trying to give me a sense of justice talk because I did the right thing and reported a theft? Why can't you be rational about this? I honestly think we have enough of our own problems here. Like finding our spaceship and getting out of here. Oh, so now you are suddenly sure we have a spaceship? Well, no, but it's only logical. We couldn't have just appeared here out of thin air. Um, hello? Like that guy. Great to meet you, man. Ah, oh, sorry, my manners. It's Brian. Silver, likewise. It's comforting to know that I'm not alone in this... mess. You're not. I'm Petra. Silver. Well, Silver, now you know everyone worth knowing around here. Oh, come on. Marco? K True, he is a bit of an a-hole, but he's one of us. Great. Well, tell me everything. That spaceship, for instance. Honestly, we don't know much either. We all got the same briefing. Go and start paying your debt. Training. Now. <laughs> Same for you? That's actually pretty accurate. Right, so you'd really better go now. If Tobias sees us delaying your training session, he will get pretty pissed. Brian is right. They take things quite seriously around here. But let's talk later. Tobias won't talk to you forever. Can't wait. Well, let's do this. See you soon, guys. See you, Silver. I'll be somewhere far away from this prejudiced hypocrite. Oh, come on. Can't we just... Last of the Ori crew. Oh, lowly. I always forget. I, I shouldn't. Uh, never mind. Just call me Silver. Loaded. I'm sorry you had to suffer the smell of those stinky rat asses along your way, Ascended One. We're short of ends these days. I'm Tobias. My meagre self will be responsible for your training. We will follow standard protocols and have you ready shortly. Right, that dreamy, glowing stick behind you will be a part of the training too. The mighty rod of lightning? No, it certainly will not. I might not be the most competent teacher, but I can tell the limits of my pupils. And I will make you die with some dignity. Not just by accidentally frying yourself. Let me know when you're ready. I'll provide you with one lucky spar. I'd rather not die at all. So, training. How do we start? First, find yourself a sword in the armory. I won't bother you with another ratchet to lead you. It's easy to find. You just need to go back through the same passageway by which you came here. It's at my right hand. Once you're at the end of it, turn right. It's the first door just around the corner. There is a giant shield above, easy to spot, 
Equip yourself there and come back. for sword? Talking rats? Right. This probably can't get any weirder. No offense, just never heard a rat talk before. They told me... They send pups for sword. Looking for sword? Probably. I should get something to train with. Yes. They not want you to destroy good blue steel, master. They give bronze first. Not as good metal, but master takes. Edgy, slim, and with a tan exactly my type. How did you know? I give you best fun I have. Only one bronze left, so it easy. The same for complimentary shield. Complimentary? That's a complicated word. I did not say master. You did. Must hurt somewhere. Sorry. Naboru took straight, master. Now, sword one hand, shield another. And go train with other pups. Hope you'll be better than they. What did you mean by messy masters? They seemed rather strict and uptight. I not say that. Master's good, yes? Not say one thing, doing another. Help me out here. Are big rats capable of irony? Are you trying to tell me something, you rat thing? Big rats, big iron. We like iron, yes. We make iron nice and sharpy and pointy to slice and stab. You will see. Tobias will see. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that sounded like a threat to Tobias. No, no, no threat. I not say. Shh. But Tobias not nice to us. We not like Tobias. He tortures. He kills. He proud of that. I swear on fiery prophet Amarvius, he bad. Oh, and here he seemed quite friendly to me. Maybe because you're not under our skin. What? You have no fur. Oh, right. Sword, shield. I feel ready. And silly, but mostly ready. Good. We'll follow the protocol and start easy. This is just a warm-up. More of an execution than a fight. That rat shit was stealing in the kitchen. Use it to find out how sharp your sword is. Wait a minute, I thought you said spar rats. Like in a non-killing practice sparring. <laughs> you are funny. It's just rats. We don't consider it killing. I don't feel ready. Then make yourself ready. Time is scarce. Well, dying with dignity doesn't sound like a great learning concept. Why don't you quit teaching if you think you suck at it? Oh, cheeky. I was like you once. Run of the litter. I had to fight more to get what I deserved. It forged me. Made me strong. A survivor. Still, my warriors are long gone. 
I'm old, tired and mutilated. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. Best I can do is to make sure you won't be dying too often. Sword, shield. I feel good. This is just a warm that rat shit was- Wait a minute, I thought you- <laughs> You are funny. Stealing in the kitchen? Surely you must be joking. I won't kill, sorry, execute anybody over that. Seriously? Disappointing. I mean, if it was a capital crime, maybe then- Perfect. This one took part in the previous uprising has the blood of many innocents on its paws. All right. I guess I only have myself to blame here. So, a killer and a rebel, right? Menace to society? Yes. Looks clumsy, but beware, they have trained him well. Who did? That wrecking renegade scum hiding in their stinking volcano killing our kin. They all deserve to be executed. Well... What do I know, right? And it feels like I don't have a say in this anyway. No. Here's a little healing help. Practice using it sparingly. Thanks. At least I have this going for me. Down with it. Move. I said move, you overgrown rat. Silver, I see you're still trying to pick your own destiny. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, you failed miserably at surviving while doing so. I would suggest focusing on following the training protocol instead. Rest assured that Tobias will get you prepared, passably. Duly noted. I would also suggest rejoining him immediately by using the door by your left hand. Duly noted.
feel rejuvenated. That serves that child-eating monster right. The soul of my poor niece can now ascend in peace. Well done, Silver. You'll be ready for the cradle and Livel soon. What cradle? And who is Livel? Oh, lowly. Me and my premature informing. Focus. We will discuss the fortress later. First, something to restore your health. You'll be in dire need of it very soon. Now it's time to commence the real training. You will need some real weapons for that. Get them at the armory and come back. I might actually like to know what we are training for. Like, is it just for your personal vendetta? Is there a war going on or what? You're training to stay alive. That's all I usually say. I appreciate your spirit though, so uh, I'll be up front. You can't die. Such is the power of your belt. But do you see those rat pests around? Some of them got away and went wild. They started a strange fire cult. They hunt our people for meat and nibbled them alive, even children. Or especially children. You know, tender meat, juicy bones. My niece disappeared like that. Sorry for your loss. How old was she? Not important. The rats are abominations. We suspect they might attack. I suppose you don't want to be served on a skewer anytime soon. They could gnaw your meat piece by piece and let the missing bits grow back. It might take weeks before you would die and be reborn. So, yes, you train to stay alive, but also undigested and to help others keep their bodies intact, too. So, do your best, even though probably it won't be enough. Fantastic. Hey. Hey, stranger. Sorry about Brian. How did the training go? How are you feeling? Happy to be immortal? And what do you make of all this? Whoa, can we take those one at a time? I'm still kind of trying to figure this place out. Oh yes, sorry. I know I can be a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> but hey, no worries. I know that feeling all too well. What do you remember? For me, there was light. And then this ugly, mushy face of some kind, then a fast flash, or maybe a reflection. And pain. And that's it. All my memories. Super hazy. How about you? Yeah, I remember some woman screaming, and then something killed me, I guess. Sounds a bit similar to yours, actually. Which is weird. That Maltus guy told me that mine was only a hallucination. Maybe a collective one, then. <laughs> no, I am serious. This might mean he knows more than he says. Well, he surely knows more, but he's also not telling. Believe me, I have tried. I guess that's the real reason the Whiteys call themselves the Keepers. <laughs> Maybe I'll go and ask him. Well, have fun. Good news, though. He probably won't kill you. I mean, just for asking. <laughs> probably, yeah. He won't get his hands dirty. He has to buy us for killing us softly. At least we can't really die now. Well, that's also something I'm still quite lost about. Could you tell me a bit more about how this immortality thing works? Yeah, I wish I could. So far, it's only the things I've learned the hard way. You die, you get revived. I have no idea why that happens and how. I also know it's the reason why the training in this place sucks so much. They don't spare us, and dying over and over isn't exactly fun. I can imagine. I felt like shit when I woke up. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, there is no way to remove that thing or turn it off. The tech behind it must be fascinating. I would love to have some time alone with decent power tools and an immortal volunteer. You know, do a full disassembly. Interested? Full disclosure, 
I'm not sure if the reassembly would be possible, since you might be dead, so... Yeah, that's a no from me. Sorry. No hard feelings. I'll find someone one day. <laughs> well, that's all I know. But I don't remember much in general. Well, I'm also quite blank when it comes to what happened before I woke up. Not a single bit of useful memories you could share? Oh, not really, no. The Keepers must think I'm dumb as a rock. Funny, because my name Petra actually means rock in... Latin, I know. Oh, yes, right. I'm impressed. So, what's the story with your name? I mean, Silver. Seriously? They say that's what I had written on me. Bit tacky, but it's growing on me. Well, honestly, I kind of dig it. It's much cooler than Petra. Probably cooler than the names of everybody else. Ah, yes. Everybody... Any gossip I should catch on with? Well, you've pretty much met everyone. It's mostly me and Brian. And no worries. Normally he doesn't have his head all the way up his ass. You'll get along just fine. Unlike with the asshole Marco, he's just the worst. I would keep away from him if I were you. Why? I honestly think he's lost his marbles. He has super reflexes and is a fast learner. I must give him that. That's why he quickly became a bit of a teacher's pet. And because Maltus gave him some fancy swords, he now thinks he's something better. And he's totally eyeing that magic wand Tobias has. <laughs> yeah, a magic wand. Sure. Of course, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's a rod, some kind of advanced tech. Project some kind of lightning. Haven't seen anything quite like it. Would love to spend a little time with it in the shop. You can get a peek in that weird shriney place right behind Tobias. Whatever makes it tick, it's a pretty damn effective weapon. Marco has only found himself on the wrong end of it so far during the practice sessions with Tobias. But he is literally dying to get his hands on it first, since he was the first one here. Ah, interesting. So, how long have you been here? Just a few weeks, pretty much like everybody else. Marco got here just a few days earlier. I have no idea how long the Whiteys want to keep us here, but they seem a bit stressed the last few days. So I guess something's about to go down. What would that be? Honestly, no idea. Maybe that vague ascension thing they keep mentioning? Maybe a war? Who knows? I just hope we'll make it out in one piece. Did you try running away? The security in this place seems to be, well, just some thick walls. Not even thick-headed guards. What would be the point? We have talked about it with Brian. We don't know anything about this planet yet. And if somebody is willing to teach us something useful for free and feed us in the process... How do you know they're not just using you? Well. Brian believes they aren't. I have my doubts, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Don't get me wrong, it's not exactly a holiday camp, and I absolutely hate training. But it seems like the only reasonable thing to do in this situation. Did a pest problem get out of hand around here? I have never seen rats this big. Are they walking on their hind legs all the time? They are fascinating, right? They keep to themselves, nice and obedient, perfect servants. I believe the Whiteys are just abusing them. I mean, they might not be super smart. Who? Whiteys? No, rats, you silly. <laughs> anyway, they sure do have feelings, and I believe they should be treated with greater dignity. So this is what that quarrel with Brian was about? Yeah, he just doesn't understand. What's wrong with you men, anyway? He's simply happy to butcher them by the dozens. Well, I do believe in animal rights, so... They are not animals, Silver. There's something more. I'm trying to figure out if they're a domesticated natural species, or if they were genetically engineered to be this tame. And? My guess is natural. Who would breed such things? It's just a hunch, though. No scientific backing for my hypothesis. If you find out anything yourself, I'm all ears. You 
are back again, master. Yes, master. Get better things to better kill our kin. Like you killed Dirk. Rattlers just tell me. Shame. Here, take and go. Do your killing. I really hoped you'd be different, but you like Naboru after all. Give me a break. I really didn't have a choice, you know. We all have choice, Master. We can choose to help those who make others suffer, or we can choose to help those who suffer. Be sure you know what is better. Need more help? Like with your... guilty conscience? From what Tobias says, it seems that your free kindred kidnapped and ate his little niece. Why should I help child murderers? He liar. We have big teeth, Naboru fear. But we prefer vegetables. Tobias just spreading lies about our kin. He just hit everybody because he lost his hand in war. He happy we his slaves, and he can pester us. Hold on right there. I thought you work here as servants. Servants? Are you blind? Maybe they call us servants, but we slaves. Tobias tortures and kills. He laughing when putting color for leash with fiery iron on our neck, master. Well, you could always fight back, right? Or at least stand up for yourself somehow. If you unleash your full potential, those are some pretty sharp teeth you've got there. Teeth sharp and strong, but leash too strong. I do not know how to fight, master. We scrub floors and fix meals and garden and give weapons. We not know another life. We want justice. Well, that sounds shitty. Let me get to know the ropes around here, and I'll try and see what we can do about the tortures kills situation. Thank you, Master. Do something for us now. We need something to heal our kin, Master. Many burned and tortured by Vaitis. They keep medical kits hidden from us. Bring one, Master. Stop calling me that. I'll see what I can do.
Asta. You bring medicine for injured practice? So, that medical kit? Yes, Master. Master brings? I think I told you to stop calling me that. Sorry, Master. This is all I could get. Will that do? Yes, Master. Thank you. Will save many burn and mutilated. And look what I accidentally find. May it make you stronger than messy masters. So, you have a little under the counter stash here. Everybody equal. Friends of our kin, more equal. I see. Well, thank you. I thank you. On behalf of Red. Uh, we thank you. On behalf of Rat what? Shh. Rat volunteers. That's how they call us. Lot of irony around. But do not worry. Go train. Okay. I hope I won't regret this. All be good. Promise. See you are ready. Good. It's time for the next step. You will train with your human counterparts. I suppose you wonder why. Uh, no, not really. The idea of not having to do more killing actually sounds just fine to me. Good. You might think that challenging Noboru or rats might be more beneficial for you. True, the chances you will fight other humans are slim, but with them, you can always fight to the death. It is proven to bring the best results. And since none of you can really die, death is merely a technicality. That sounds like a rather painful technicality to me. It's the best way to learn in the short time we have. No second chances, no room for errors. You must do your best from the beginning. Well, let's do my best then. Marco, enter and commence. <sighs> All right, it's time to kick the newbie's ass. Beaten by a newbie, huh? Whoa! What's going on? Wow! I knew you had it in you, Silver. This new oak needs to be reported immediately. You have to inform the Patriarch. Yeah, really looking forward to being subtly insulted over and over again. No. You'll be more than pleased. Take this. Go. Right. What is it? My lucky ring. 
Jutland in the hell of war. Take it and go. Go, go, go. What do we have here? 103081. 7AW. Well, pretty sure that's not a distilling ship hull classification, so some dates probably? And this would be Noboru, I guess. All pale and boring, even while probably celebrating. Although, using computers, communicators, this doesn't add up. Actually, this whole scene looks pretty high-tech, like a new spaceship launch party, or an open house at a new research base, which is crazy, so either it's not Noboru, or this place was buzzing with technology back in the days. Curious. Well, it certainly isn't buzzing now. <laughs> Prodigal weakling returns. What do you want from me? Me? Nothing. Honestly. Tobias just says hello. Are you toying with my patience? Oh, sorry. He also said that I should, I quote, report this new hope immediately. What kind of new hope? You would have never guessed. It seems that I'm not a weakling after all. I knocked out Marco, and also Tobias' socks off while I was at it. Impossible. I would need to see that with my own... What was that? Oh, lowly. The Queen has come. That's too early. Too early. Give me your weapons. Tobias, dispatch the order crew to their respective missions and come back. We'll keep Silver here. He's not ready. Come! Hide now. When the time is right, sneak out and acquire the rod. I'll stall the Queen. Bring the lightning rod to the arm. I'll meet you there. Your Majesty, what an unexpected honor. Silence! Now go! Move in! Your Majesty, I don't understand words. Silence! You lowlife! You have broken your vows! Marshal, do you know that? We know you are hiding forbidden technology and... Dear Gracchus, follow the procedure. We first need to acquire proof to support your claims. Patriarch. Our guards are probing your premises rigorously, and if they find anything unorderly...
give me the rod now, so I can hide it. Here you go, but it was a very close cut. Next time, I'll just do the things my way. No more sneaking. Just give me the rod, quick. Here you go. Flawless. I will make sure it doesn't fall into unworthy hands. Oh, a secret room. Now it all makes sense. You stay out. It's not safe for you inside. Open the door! The Queen is known to lose her temper. We should not make her wait. What are you two lovebirds doing here? Her Majesty asks for your presence. She wishes to speak with everyone in private, one by one. You first, go and see the Queen. Come closer. Ah, that's unlikely. An earthling. Our dear Gracchus was right. Allow us to take you for a walk. We need answers. Fast. And don't you try to fool us, Ascended One. Unlike our dim-witted half-brother, we don't dwell on old legends. Hold on. Could I also get some answers? Like, maybe right now? I have no clue whatsoever what's going on here. My memory is one black hole and nobody tells me anything. Like that Gracchus. What was he right about? Pardon us. We have spoken too harshly. We didn't know you were kept in oblivion. Our dear Gracchus says the Keepers are scheming. We are here to investigate. We presume that they have tried to make you part of their scheme. Yeah, I wish I could confirm or deny that. Well, rest assured that nothing you were told here is true. You can have faith in your Queen and confide in us. Now, come with us to the cliffs. We shall show you something. This used to be a breathtaking view. Glorious Wardinia. But now, the world, once orderly, is distorted. The rats can sense the change and lurk behind its veil. We also have those other lurking problems, Your Majesty. Indeed, Marshal. Let us finish. You see, Earthling, ghastly things are now vexing our realm. Twisted abominations, lightning weapons, we are here to put those monstrosities to a halt, yet the burden lies too heavy on our shoulders. If not a king by our side, as many say, we could use a friend right now. I have been here for literally just a few hours. Putting monstrosities to a halt probably wouldn't be my forte just yet. Being a friend, though, that could be arranged. Guards, bring those traitors! Friendship is easy to proclaim, Earthling. We would prefer actions that speak louder than words. Tell us, friend, have you seen any such atrocities here? Warped mutants, lightning weapons? If so, speak freely. Our wrath will not fall upon you, and our gratitude is generous. They do have this unbelievable lightning spear of some kind. They keep it behind a secret door in the armory. Right. As we suspected. Unsurprisingly, our 
Gracchus was right. Patriarch Maltis, you have been found guilty of treason. There is no mercy in our heart for those who betray the ways of the Naburu. You will be imprisoned here until we decide your fate. As for you, Akin Tobias, face us and fear not. We value your loyalty and your battle scars. We shall grant you mercy. Mercy, my queen, M mercy. M mercy of a swift death. Now, we don't want to disturb the people more by executing a patriarch. Yet. We hope this will leave you with something to ponder over, Maltus. Earthling, you have chosen the right side. The side of justice, order, and respect. Let us thank you by making you one of the Royal Guards. And very likely, something more. When the right time comes, you will help us protect Wardinia from... Your Majesty, be old. Fortress is under attack. Rats again. How unsurprising, yet unsettling. to head back at once. Barabufus can't hold the fortress effectively with the limited crew he has. Another rat uprising was only to be expected. You, take two more men and the earthling. Provide him with weapons and armor. Stay here, guard the place and make sure the Patriarch doesn't go anywhere. You, Marshal, and the rest of the guard shall follow us to the fortress. Baro Bufus can't hold it effectively with the limited crew he has. Let's squash this pesterous rat rebellion and feed the bodies to his pet. Then we shall return to investigate further. Give me those ranks again. I'm a hellbarder, and you're a hymen? <laughs> a howman. Soon an oberleiten. One day, maybe even ober. This is giving me headaches. Who's the arbor now? Gracchus? Gracchus? He's just a marshal. And marshal fits where in this? Mostly into Her Majesty. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I told you that. Anyway, Gracchus is not of the Royal Guard. He's just a grunt that got lucky. Her Majesty would deserve a proper king. Keeping this fool around makes her weak. Thank you for taking the time to explain those things to me, Decanus. Everybody was so blunt here. Well, I'm a sharp guy. <laughs> Our pretentious patriarch over there would agree. I noticed. Was all the beating really necessary? No, but it was fun. And I think that a bit of a hardcore treatment was perfectly in place for doing such a poor job guarding the core. The core? I see we will need to work on your knowledge of our mythology and religion. You can do better than the rest of our race who loathes our old wisdom these days. But let's bask in the glory of our primeval times over breakfast, maybe. I'm too tired to do the stories justice now, and honestly... I'm also a bit pissed we're missing all the action. You think it's serious out there? Baro Bufus is not a young, mighty warrior anymore. And his splendid armor can't protect the whole fortress. And Baro Bufus would be... The protector of the fortress. And a spider person. What? <laughs> Just a joke. Oh. Well, I hope the Queen sorts things out soon. I can't wait to get out of this shithole. What was that? What? You don't think this is a complete and utter shithole? No, that noise. Well, it could have been my stomach. The food here is a disaster. 
I honestly don't know why, but I thought rats would be excellent chefs, and at least make a mean ratatouille or something. Yes. <laughs> so bland. Did they run out of all the hot and sharp spices? Ah! What the? Oh, shit, 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 fuck! Let go of me, you shithead! Let go, let go! Oh, fuck my leg! Ah, Frida. Stop! I will report you to Masters, the last one! Oh, you useless human junk! Dekenis, don't you dare die on me. You were probably my first and only friend around here. Silver, you need to, to, to warn Her Majesty. Go, the fortress. Let me save you first. We'll worry about the Queen later. No! No, not me. Save... people. The fortress. That's where that rat attack took place? But that's over the sea. Uh, how do I get there? Uh, right. Bad idea. Down... port. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. What do I tell the Queen? The attack... The, the core... What? The... the core... Decanus? Decanus, speak to me! Decanus! Interesting. Uh. Captain's log one zero three zero eight eight zero seven two one. First day awake on Bordinia, Forcefield State, satisfactory. Needed to modify the terminal extensively. Luckily, I can update the rest remotely. After modifications, coverage will be sufficient to make the belt work properly almost everywhere. With the last update, the belt is now fully operative, also as a life support system. Meaning if I get killed, it revives me. Marvelous. This should provide me with enough leverage when dealing with those Naburu technocrats. Which, I recall, was never easy, even after the ship's training systems uploaded the same language to our brains. So, this should help if the discussion gets heated. Note, aging is still a factor, so not full immortality. Focus on the possibility to revert to a younger physical self while retaining all the information, later when there is time. Project Holo help, mixed results. My hard-like companion is operative and proves useful for simple tasks. I still wasn't able to grant him fuller autonomy. To fix list, extend the range to make useful for long-distance errands. Add a mouth and basic AI for easier communication and feedback. I wish I could wake the rest of the crew. The mission seems to be gravely endangered. Ida insists that protocol doesn't allow for that. Says we've lost enough personnel already. True, but the logic behind her reasoning seems flawed. This way, she might lose me too. Oh well. Now back to work. I need to learn a lot about this place. Over.
Wow, if that's cobwebs, I hope the spider isn't around. Hey you, are you... What was that? Oh shit. We have a mission. Recover the damn cradle and... It's just you and me. Not a word to anybody. Find me. The Lady of the Lake. I'm getting you out of here. What a welcome. Isn't that Marshal Gracchus himself? The notorious grunt that called the Royal Guard, right on time as usual. Why do you always march in when the main fight is over? Is that part of your training? Speak up, Guardsman! And stand straight when you're reporting to your senior officer! Well, Decanus told me that the Royal Guard is a separate force and we should report only to... only to... Ah, that's humiliating. I forgot the name of those ranks again. Anyway, he said we don't report to common military. Oh, he did, did he? Well, screw him and screw the Royal Guard. We are under attack and it's martial law here now. Baro Bufus is dead and I'm his temporary substitute. So you report to me now, no matter what. Is that clear? Is that clear? Sire, yes, sire. Sorry, sire. I will now say sire in every sentence, just so you don't pop a vein, sire. Always the funny guy, aren't we? If you think that belt of yours will get you any preferential treatment... Uh, not really, sire. I just think it will eventually get me into recycling, sire. Nice that you bring that up. I am in need of someone to use and recycle. I have only a handful of men left now and I can't afford to lose a single one. You, on the other hand... If Regulus and the old legends are true, I can lose you as many times as I want, can't I? I don't like the sound of that, sire, but technically you are right, sire. Splendid. So the immortality is a proven scientific fact now. This looks like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. 
Did you see those rats breaking into the castle? They haven't made any move yet. I suspect they barricaded themselves on the top floor. I can't have them at our back like that. They could strike any time. Somebody has to de ratize this castle once and for all. Somebody like me, sire? Yes. No, we need to get rid of those pests first. You only need to know that you have my permission to die as many times as... Dismissed! Sire! Yes, sire, sire! Guardsman, did you complete your mission? The gate is closed. I need to get through. I follow my orders. And what orders would that be? I can open the gate only once the attack is over and the fortress is safe again. What if I told you the attack is over? I would need to see that in writing with Borrow Buffus's seal on it. What if he would be unfit to seal it? Orders are orders. Her Majesty told me she will be in the fortress, but that's obviously not the case. Why? Her Majesty decided that the fortress isn't safe for her anymore. That's why she chose the protection of these city walls. Because of the rats? Indeed. I wish I was there, in the heat of the battle, snapping the necks of those little furry weasels. Like back in the days, me and my best buddies, and endless heaps of rat bodies. You sure have a knack for poetry. Well, they sure didn't call us the boar, the boozer, and the bard for nothing. That's a great name for an old indie band. What did you guys play? The stark symphonies of startled screams. The brutal boires of breaking bones. We had no mercy and tons of fun. You can take my word on that. Or you could pay the old boozer a visit. If you have the time. He is a bit grumpy since he lost his old smithy and old wife. But still, an amazing blacksmith when sober. You should have seen the golden armor he made for Barrow Buffus back in the day. Can you open the gate? I really need to go through. I have information of the utmost importance for Her Majesty. No. Orders are orders. Inspected the results of blood.
Hey there! Let me in! The door is closed for a reason. Who asks to enter the sanctum? What happened here? Why are you locked in? We are under attack. The fortress isn't safe anymore. I am not a fighter, and the Ratkins are vicious. Well, I am not a rat, so... I believe you. Still, I cannot let you in before the hallways are safe again. There's killer rats everywhere. We need every good man. Could you maybe use that hammer to crack some skulls? I could. Yours would go first. Leave me alone. Don't tell me you're afraid of rats. You? Such a brawny brute? No. It's just not my war. How can you say that? It's not my war either. I've been on this planet for literally one day. One day. That's really what you think. Well, that's funny. Never mind. Go on. Still, I've chosen to fight for what I feel is right. Protect Her Majesty. Protect the Order. See my war tattoo? I'm a veteran. I did my fair share of Queen protecting and rat killing back in the day. And what good did that do for me? Well, I don't have time for this lovely chit-chat. I need to find Her Majesty. Is she still around here? Good luck with that. The Queen's gone. Probably locked in her high castle. Like a different castle than this castle? Is the other one more castle-y or what? It's a citadel. A royal hideout next to the city. When the going gets tough, the nobility gets going and runs there to save their rich asses. Cowards and sissies, they don't mind spilling some blood for their noble causes, as long as it's not theirs. 
How do I get there? I'm no expert, but through the gate to the city, and then through the gate to the citadel. Sounds about right. Have fun. It's a full lockdown here. My old pal and drinking buddy Cyrus is guarding the first gate. A good guy. He won't let you pass. You'd need a permit. Well, can I get a permit? Gracchus issues them in the main keep, so probably not. He's just like the rest of them. Coward. I have news of utmost importance. Probably connected to this war. Yeah, right. Well, I don't care. I've told you already, it's not my war. Ugh! <laughs> 